Hey everyone, Mitch here with another Protocase Tech Tip video. Today I'm going to show you how you can customize cutouts in Protocase Designer. Depending on what you are designing, you may require custom cutouts to fit your specific vision and project requirements. With laser cutting, there is virtually a limitless variety of shapes and profiles you can create. Protocase Designer is our template-based CAD software. With it, you can design, quote, and order custom enclosures, parts, and panels. It's simple and easy, so you don't have to have CAD experience to use it. It's awesome for electrical engineers and production engineers and prototyping teams because you can pick it up and begin creating your design in just minutes. Protocase Designer features a robust library of cutouts, fasteners, graphics, and components, so you can click and place quickly and easily. But if you want to create a completely customized cutout, whether to fit your proprietary component or branding, that's no problem. Protocase Designer uses several different methods to create custom cutouts. I'll go over each of these methods with you and give you some info on when best to use each of the methods. All three methods we're going to go over can be found in Protocase Designer's Face Editor. The first way to create custom cutouts is to use the Merge option. The Merge option allows you to combine different shapes into a single cutout. It can be useful to use the Merge feature on simple cutouts when you only have a few overlapping shapes. Let me show you how. So first I'll go into Edit Face, I'll select the face I want to edit, I'll select a rectangle, and I'll add my rectangle. Next, I'll add another rectangle. Now I'll select another shape, a circle. I'll add that. I'll select Move Item, hold down Shift, and select all of the cutouts. I'll right click and click Merge. Now I can see there's no overlapping lines in the cutout. It's all one. One important thing to keep in mind when you have many shapes to merge is that Protocase Designer may have a hard time figuring out what lines to remove and not. In this case, it is easier to use the Trim Tool, which is our second method. So, method number two, the Trim Tool. The Trim Tool allows you to manually select which lines you want to remove in order to create your cutout correctly. Again, we will go into the Face Editor. Select the face you want to edit, Select the shapes you want to place onto this face. I'll place another rectangle. I'll make a second one. And again, I'll select a circle for the final shape. I'll select Move Item so I can select each of the shapes. Select Trim, scroll in, hold down the mouse, and you can manually trim the lines you want to remove. Click Check when you're all done and you can see we have a new formed cutout. The final way you can create a custom cutout is using the Path Tool. The Path Tool is another excellent method you can use to create custom cutouts. Think of it like connect the dots, except that instead of trying to connect dots, Protocase Designer is going to connect every click of your mouse. To use the Path Tool, select it on the side menu of the Face Editor. Next, click on the face to place each point of the path. To finish the shape, you need to end up back at the first point you placed. Another function of the path tool is the arc. The arc allows you to create a curved line along your path. This is different than our standard arc tool, which only creates a curved line cutout. While using the path tool, you can create complex shapes using straight lines and curved lines by using the line and arc functions. You can switch to the arc mode of the path tool by clicking the box on the right side of the face editor. You can also switch between line and arc mode by pressing A for arc or L for line. After you've placed your custom cutouts, you can adjust them by selecting the cutouts and selecting the different points that show up. Drag these points to change the shape of your cutout or the radius of your arc. So that concludes our Proto Tech Tip video on how to create custom cutouts inside Protocase Designer. Hope it inspired you to add some creativity to your future designs. One thing to keep in mind, our pricing is in a large part determined by the amount of time it takes to manufacture your design. 
Part of that manufacturing time is the time it takes our fiber lasers to cut your design out of sheet metal. So as your cutouts increase in complexity, the cost of manufacture may increase as well. But at the end of the day, it's your design, your budget, and your time. The beauty of Protocase Designer is that you can instantly quote any version of your design as often as you would like. And if you need help, we're here for you. Comment below or email us at info at protocase.com. Thank you very much for watching this week's Pro Tech Tip, and we'll see you here next week.